All right, there's gonna be a quick video on Slip Yoke Eliminator for a NP241DLD or um, 241C. Um, this kit came from JB Conversions. Um, I tried doing this step by step, but it just got to be too much. Um, so I figured I'll just do it like this, basically. Um, this kit came with um, full instructions, new snap rings, came with new back casing, and the um, flange piece. That's a 1350 flange. Um, here's the old shaft. The slip shaft here, and this one here is threaded for the nut to go on. But basically, uh, what you're going to do is you'll have your tail shaft sticking in here. You can take these four bolts out. That's going to come off. Now you got this piece here. The shaft's still going through. There's going to be a snap ring right here. You go ahead and take that off. You go ahead and take, all, take out the speedometer. Um, there's a little hook here that holds that on. Go ahead and take that off. Um, and then the instructions show to pry up on this tab and this tab, but I just hit it a couple times with a mallet and it popped right up. Um, so once you do that, you're gonna slide this up over the tail shaft. Ooh, let's just put that on the ground. All right, now you're looking at the transfer case like this. This here's the pump. Um, you want to, don't mess with this because, where's it at, here. Your pickup tube, and your strainer goes right here or about somewhere in there um, if you go to put up prying on this to try and get this out you're gonna either break this off or this is here's cast aluminum and you'll break this small piece off and then you run the risk of this falling out and cause all, all, all it holds it in is just a no ring um, so what you want to do when you get to this step here Go ahead and take out all the bolts around the edge. Um, they're 15 millimeter, I believe. There's two spots on this case, on the ear here and on the other side. There's just enough room to stick a screwdriver in. You pry it in there, you know, easy, pop it loose, and you're gonna pull this back cover off as one piece with the pump. Um, it's best to do it with two hands, or you know, an extra set of hands, but you know, I did it by myself, so it can be done. Um, just be careful. Don't go prying on this because you'll break it. Um, once you get that off, you're going to be looking here. This gear is going to be sitting here with the chain on it. All right, there's going to be a snap ring right here. Go ahead and take that off. There's going to be a spring and a, a top um, flat washer on the top. Take that off, put it out of the way so you don't lose it. Um, once you got that, this retainer loose, you're going to go. Um, lift it up a little bit, grab this gear here, and grab the shaft, and pull that up as one unit. Um, all right. Sometimes this fork and the clutch pack um, ring, whatever you want to call it, um, will stay in, and that's okay. They say that's fine, but you want to pay attention to the orientation on how this ring is. You don't want to put it upside down because that'll mess stuff up and you'll break something. You know, obviously, put stuff back, how you took it apart, but it's just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Um, mine, unfortunately, was the oddball transfer case, the 241s. Um, apparently, it's only, <coughs> excuse me, only found in Dodge, where the input shaft side, let's see if I can show you this. Here it is. The input shaft side of the transfer case is smaller. I'm sorry, original is larger. Only found in some Dodges, not year specific, um, what he was saying. 
So basically, if you find this, just let them know and they'll send you a resized bearing. Um, maybe I misunderstood him, or maybe I'm doing it wrong, but he said that you had to take the input shaft out, which I did, but there's no way for this just to sit in there and that shaft is slightly shorter on the input side than the original, or it's actually, that one's sorry. Original is longer than the one they send, just a little bit, but that gives you enough room for this pilot bearing to sit on here. And basically that just sits on the old um, bearing housing. Um, you know, I could be doing this wrong, but I looked at it, scratched my head for probably 30 minutes, measured stuff, mic stuff, and that seems to make the most sense to me. I've taken that bearing out, and it just, it's super sloppy when it sits in there. It doesn't make any sense why it would be by itself. Um, so I'm going to put it like that, and I guess I'm going to find out. But, you know, that's really basically it. Um, well, let me finish, I guess. You're going to have this. Um... There's a snapper in here. This gear assembly clutch pack comes off. You slide it on the new one. Put the snapper ring back on. Make sure this is right. Put it back in. And it'll slide all the way down. You wanna make sure that, well, it's kinda of hard to do one-handed, but Make sure this pin's touching, obviously, how you found it. Um, this is happening because this rod, there's a hole that goes all the way through the case. Um, and it's not, it's through this part, but it's not down past it yet. I can't do it one-handed. Um, but yeah, you know, basically after that point, you just do it um, reverse. There's really not much to it. Um, simplest way I found to do was... Put the chain on this gear, stretch the chain out, put it over here, wiggle it onto this, and wiggle the gear on as one piece. Oh, also, here's that spring and retainer I was talking about. There's a magnet that sets right in there. Make sure that's there when you go to put all this back together. Um, you know, while you got it out, go ahead and look at it. See if there's any big chunks of metal on it. Um, you know, large amounts of metal. You, that let you know, you know, something you got something going on. But this just basically sits like this. Um, you can take that off when you're doing this. But you know, when you're putting it back together, obviously make sure you put it back on. Um, um, the kit comes with new. Comes with a new tone ring. Comes with new snap rings. Um, comes with the nut. That'll sit onto here. So basically, once you got that top piece on, this will slide down. This comes with a sealed bearing. Um, and then your shaft will be coming through. You slide this over it, bolt it to it. It's got this rubber washer to help seal anything else that may have slipped through. Um, and you torque this down. Oh geez, I don't remember what the instructions said. I'll have to look. 180 foot pounds, I think it was. That may be way off, but that's what I think I remember here. And um, you know what, it just comes with the instructions. Uh, but yeah, um, this tone ring will sit right here when you put this back together um, once you got that chain on what you're going to want to do is a snap ring it shows you in the instructions but I believe it's the two inners you know because you I'm sorry you weren't even able to see that you got two um, grooves for the snap ring to go and I believe if I remember correctly on the instructions you go the closest to the gear so that'll put you at that snap ring and that snap ring um, I think I don't remember I'll have to look again but all that does is for your speedometer to ride on 
I'm gonna put it on, put it in just because. Um, but I'm running a digital speedometer, so I won't, I won't even need this. But you know, hey, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it later down the road and kick myself for it. So yeah, it's just a quick little video on how to do this. I hope that helps some because I hadn't seen any videos on YouTube on how to do it. Um, if you're gonna do it yourself, it's it's really basic, really self-explanatory. Um, you're gonna need these snap, this style snap ring pliers. Um, get yourself a good quality set. These are cheap and they are bendable, like they they twist and stuff, and it's been a real pain. If I had a nice quality set of snap ring pliers, um, this job would have been a piece of cake. But yeah, if you're wanting to do it yourself. There's basically not much to it. Um, just pay attention, take your time. Don't rush it or you're going to mess something up. But yeah, appreciate you watching. Hope to help some.